We know how many words a picture is worth, but just how many shares can a striking image inspire on Facebook? 7 Action News reporter Andy Choi shows us how a local photographer's decades-old image continues to spread childhood joy. He has the story from Mount Clements. It was a moment captured 40 years ago right here in Mount Clemens. And now through the power of social media, it's a moment rediscovered and a story retold. You can't help but smile back at a photo like this. It's why retired Macomb Daily photographer Joe Crosciola shared the decades-old image on Facebook. He never imagined the world would be smiling back with him. Just the, the pure joy, the innocence, the spontaneity of it. I mean, it comes down to that. We caught up with Crosciola now living in New Orleans through FaceTime. And as his young subjects now receive some extra FaceTime thanks to Facebook, the photographer is in the process of locating the kids and planning a reunion. And now I have a real good understanding of what they mean when they talk about things going viral. We've seen a guy with a camera. And we uh, stopped, went over there, and tell them to take their pictures of us. Cherry Street in Mount Clemens has changed since Robert Shelley called it home. He's the boy on the far right. The photo has garnered Shelley some newfound celebrity status in the old neighborhood. One of these days, they're all going to show up here. Yeah, I yeah, so. yeah, so yeah. I'm glad I got to meet you. Yeah, no problem. Name is Robert. More than that, Shelley says the photo is a great reminder of a childhood full of joy, far from prejudice. It could have been green, purple, yellow, them kids. I mean, so we, I mean, it doesn't matter to me. I mean, I love everybody. In Mount Clemens, Andy Choi, 7 Action News.